Hi everyone, welcome to our Storm Through Anything podcast. My name is Jess and we're here with Riley. This is a really exciting episode. It's episode number two. Uh, the reason why it's exciting is because we have Jim Slater here today. Uh, Jim is the president, the owner, along with his wife Gloria, of course, uh, the heart and soul of this organization. Um, and we have you here today because if anyone has seen the, the last episode, we were talking about what we got the boss for Christmas. So now we have the boss himself, <laughs> himself to talk about this gift. So it's not just us lying about whether or not the boss really liked it or not, or giving uh, fake reactions. So uh, we have you here today. We're excited to yeah, interview great you. Great to be here, Jess. Thanks for having me. So Jim, being the president, the owner, of course, along with your wife, Glory, tell us a little bit about what you do here. Like, what are your tasks here? What is what what do you do? That's a great question. Uh, <laughs> sometimes sometimes the day can get a, a like like pretty busy. So. Um, we've got a lot of people working here at Canine Storm. Uh, typically, what my day would look like um, is I would be flowing from one area to another, checking in with the the, the managers in those different areas. And uh, we have like three sort of well-defined areas. We have our electronics division. We have our, our milling division that manufactures all our hardware and, and um Parts for electronics. We have our soft good, soft goods um, division, which is stuff that you would, you know, relate to like our vests and our our um, our leashes and, and things of that nature. Anything that's sewn, basically. So um, I check in with my managers, and and usually uh, as I'm as I'm, you know, sort of going in and out of each of these areas, uh, we're going to have a, a list of things that are going to require my attention or a decision, or uh, they'll they'll have things very uh, concise and organized for me. I come through, check it, and then we I can make some decisions on on what we want to do in, in, in some specific areas, um, based on what the, the managers are going to be telling me. So, um, and how do you know what like what to do? How do you know what this these products are supposed to have? What are they? How they're supposed to be made? Like how do you know how how do you know that well my my background actually is i was a police canine handler um i handled a dog i was in our canine unit f um or roughly about 10 years um so i was on the end of the long line so i've firsthand i've seen what it's like i know what it's like I've, i can i can i can relate to what the the end um task is and what it involves and so um i build and develop all the products around that knowledge that I have. And then of course, whatever new mission requirements there are um, and, and stuff that has uh, arisen um, since I've, I've stopped working a dog. So um, I'm very in tune with that. It's, and it's very, I'm very passionate about it. So I like to build the best equipment I possibly can. Absolutely. And what's crazy for me is you have so many tasks to do here, but then you still have time to be a super fan of all the Canine Storm platforms of social media <laughs> that we have here. So you obviously saw our last month's episode yeah. and you knew that you were the boss that was going to be getting the gift. Uh, what did you think you were going to be getting when you saw that? Well, you know, I wasn't thinking at, at first. I wasn't thinking much like about the the gift, and then when then when you guys said oh, it's it's going to be a, something special, I really started to think about it. And I was saying like, geez, like there's a couple things out there that um, would be just fantastic to to have in the building and to and to own. And I did actually think of of the painting. Um, I've, I saw the painting many many years ago. Of course, we we fabricated the equipment uh, for Benno. Um, the dog in the painting and we've been working uh, with the ranger group for um, you know the regiments out there for for many many years so I did see the painting one time online I said wow that'd be like a fantastic thing to have in the building so it did come to mind but I'd also tried to acquire it myself um, a number of years ago and it's just there's so, such a limited edition of those of those uh, prints out there um, I tried many times I was like okay it's sold out sold out so I just kind of gave up on actually getting it so to actually have one here is it's very meaningful to me because um, it's it's our gear it's what we do and it really captures the essence of of our business right there in that one photo like mm -hmm. so it's, yeah, it's really exciting to have that here yeah, well of course it's definitely exciting when you when you're when you are thinking it could be a possible but you think it'd be a miracle to, to actually happen and yeah. so when you saw that it wasn't a pair of like when we unraveled it yeah. and you saw that it wasn't a pair of like fluffy slippers or <laughs> one of Riley's famous like self-portrait macaroni art yeah. uh, what did you think those are limited edition too though so I mean I don't know there's, there's only one of many, those yeah, there's only they one they be worth something John. <laughs> we gotta look into it uh, yes yeah, that, that, uh, yeah I think we should look into it but um, knowing that it wasn't any of those what did you think like when it was revealed when uh, you ripped the package off and when you saw it for the first time what was your first impression 
It's like, I can't believe it. I, I was I was stunned actually that you, you know, that it was actually there and it was, it's the real deal. It's signed, it's got the, you know, the authentication documents on the back. I was, I was blown away, quite honestly. And um, like I said, it's like, I, you know, what it means to, you know, and when I look at it, what it means to me is like, I remember dealing with these groups. I know the people in the picture, I, you know, we've met them personally. We, you know, we've sized these dogs in person, um, and so to have that that whole thing captured there and um, it's such a beautiful um, piece. Um, yeah, I was just like, holy cow! I can't believe this. Like, this is it's unbelievable. I'm going to read the back of the authentication uh, letter that we received on the back uh, because I think this story on on it is quite interesting. So. The painting itself is called Into the Breach. Here's what it says on the back. Ranger units have exemplified themselves in close combat from Rogers Rangers to the Rangers of the 75th Ranger Regiment. The men of the 75th Ranger Regiment carry on this legacy as the nation's premier forcible entry and raiding force, prosecuting targets in denied areas against a well-armed and determined enemy. In response to the 9-11 attacks, our nation called upon the 75th Ranger Regiment as one of the first units to respond to the war on terror. On October 19, 2001, Rangers executed a low-level airborne assault, seizing Objective Rhino, an airfield in Kandahar, Afghanistan. Since that day, a reinforced battalion of the 75th Ranger Regiment has been actively engaged in combat operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. For over 11 years, Rangers have maneuvered through the breach in built-up urban areas and small countryside compounds, conducting raids to capture or kill the enemies of the United States. This limited edition print portrays a ranger's fire team with their distinctive equipment and armed with a SCAR H and M4s and a military working dog assaulting through the breach during a raid in the global war on terror. A ranger sniper team and AH-6s crewed by members of the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment are in overwatch. The compound is typical of those that the rangers assaulted in both Afghanistan and Iraq. This print is dedicated to rangers of all eras who have gone into the breach, especially those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. A limited edition print reproduced from the original oil painting by Stuart Brown. This is to certify that print number 2767 is authentic. So that's pretty in incredible to have that little bit of a description um, on the back of the art, just to give a little bit of uh, background info on kind of the jobs that they do with their dogs and as the handlers. How do you feel, boss, knowing that there are artists in the world who you've never met before that are painting um, canine storm gear on dogs? Well, like the, the fellow that, that, yeah, I mean, again, it, it goes back to this. It's like, you know, we, we lived it, right? So... We were there in the compounds. We were sizing the dogs. We we know the operators um, in many in many units, um, and so when you see this depicted, fine. This is like kind of a it's it's an example of what you you witnessed personally, but um, it's sort of being unveiled uh, to the rest of the world. And when you see it in in, a, in this form here, um, like like the painting on the wall, it's like yeah, you know, like I said, that's what we you know, we spent the last you know 15 years of our life. Um, doing these, doing these things, you know, at Canine Storm, and we've, we've quietly done this behind the scenes, and we've been like serving the, this community uh, for for a very very long time, and so uh, it, it's just uh, like to actually see it in print. It's like somebody else's um, uh, expression of of um, sort of what you've always known. It's kind of unveils it a little bit about what you've been doing um, in terms of, of business uh, for the last uh, decade and a half, really. So. Absolutely. And I must say, like, the detail on that vest, because we know it so well, is very accurate. Like, it's not just, like, yeah. a blanket item that's drawn on top of the dog. Like, you can see the different, uh, like, really the webbing and the different designs that we've, like, specifically put in place for that team so, exactly. that, they, so that they can do their job and come home safely. And, you know, and going back to my role here at Canine Storm, I mean, you know, obviously... Um, was the tip of the spear when it came to the development of those features that you see on the vast and it was it was nice to see that everything was captured accurately like and you know i can remember the conversations you know about the handles and about the you know the, the hard points on load bearing uh, loops on the back and what the mission capability would have to be so um you know seeing it in there and the artist captured it perfectly so I, I, it's, it, yeah, i'm really proud of that actually so it's proud of the vast itself and, and it's good really, you know, honored to be serving um, the Ranger uh, battalions and the soft community at, in, 
as a whole, really. Absolutely. And I wanted to mention also for us, it was um, like divine providence, almost what had happened that we never just acquired this art from the internet, but that we actually got it from the handler who yeah. is in this painting, right. who is the handler of the dog that is storming through that yeah. crazy Wait. scene that he's like jumping through. So, yeah. and on top of that, we also have a si his signature on this piece of art. Yeah. What do you feel about that? Well, that makes it even more like, like more uh, valuable to me personally. It's like, wow, like there's, there's the story behind it there, you know, there's, there's the building of the products, you know, the history. like 15 years ago, 10 years ago. And there's the history behind that. There's the relationships we have with the operators. There's, you know, the development process with the equipment and what that took with all our talented folks in the, in the back here, like how that came to be. And then, you know, so for many years, you know, for this to come kind of full circle and for, you know, the operator now to have you know, to be able to talk to the operator who's actually in the, <laughs> again, actually in the in the uh, painting and have him sign it is even more meaningful. So it makes it that much more valuable to to me personally. Having said that, is there anything you want to tell, um, I guess, the handlers right now that are working and part of the Rangers? Um, is there anything you want to say uh, to them about what they're doing or to the handler himself that has given us this piece of art to trend? Is there anything you want to say? Well, thank you for the work. Number one, thank you for the work that you've done. Um, thank you for the work that you continue to do, uh, whether it's forefront in, in everybody's mind and the news. Um, you know, I know and we know uh, what's going on, whether it's like, it's like splashed across the paper or not. And we, we need you out there. We appreciate the work that you do. We honor the work that you do. And we try to honor that by putting in the hours here to get you the best possible equipment. Um, that we can build or that we can fabricate and we continue to search the we search the globe for the latest technologies the best fabrics the best techniques to continue to improve our own our own product we're not stopping here you're not stopping we know that the world's not stopping so we're not going to be stopping when it comes to the development of new of new products that can help you uh, do your job and come home safely Ranger dogs lead the way. And we talked about Ranger on our last podcast episode when we had said that the number one dog name of 2021 here at K9 Storm was Ranger. So I did think that that would have been uh, an accidental like clue into your gift. But of course, <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, it was a nice tie in from last uh, the last episode to this one. So thank you, Jim, so much for coming today and doing this interview. I think you got to get back to work. You have a lot of things to do. Dude. As we know, you have a... <laughs> call me crazy <laughs> they crazy. do call you crazy jimmy yes <laughs> your, your reputation does precede you on many occasions and they do call you crazy jimmy so uh we'll let crazy jimmy aka uh boss or bossy which we also call him here at canine storm to get back to work thank you so much for tuning in on the next episode we're going to be talking about the new products for 2022 we're going to be talking about vests maybe a touch a little bit about electronics as well so you don't want to miss it stay tuned to see what we're planning and what we have in store for this year